In today's video, we take a look at how to troubleshoot video signal problem. If you have a computer which is turning on, but there's no display on the monitor, it could be because of a graphics card issue like this one, or it could be the onboard graphics. Coming up, roll the intro. Hey name tags and welcome, this is Ash from Hilmai Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. Now this is part six of my troubleshoot series. We are dealing with a computer which doesn't turn on or turns on but there's no display on the monitor. I've done an introduction and five previous parts and also two standalone videos. I would advise if you're not tech savvy that you go and watch these videos because I will be referring to some technical terms that I mentioned in those videos. Also, there is a computer turning on sequence from the time you turn the computer on until you boot up into Windows, Linux or Mac. And if you understand which part exactly is causing the issue, then it'll be easier for you to fix that. Right, now back to today's video. Now, I need to tell you two things before we start. First, there are many types of graphics card, but what we're interested in today for this kind of troubleshoot is how they are powered. And as far as I know, there's only two ways they are powered. One type, something like this, right? It doesn't require external power. So when you plug it into the PCI slot of the motherboard, it draws power from the motherboard. And these are lower powered graphics card. And one famous one is like the uh, GTX uh, 750 Ti, okay? Right, another type of graphics card powered uh, system is through what we call pins and this one has got a six pins which draws power from a power supply and it will be something like this uh, a six pin uh, connector other more powerful graphics card will be needed to be powered like a maybe 12 pin two by six or other configurations and this is important to understand for today's tutorial right do bear that in mind okay and the next thing is some motherboards have got onboard graphics and like in this one, we've got onboard graphics, although we've got a graphics card connected to it. And I'm gonna show you at the back. So the video cable is connected through this uh, DVI-D port. But on this motherboard, there's also three, one, two, and three. So a DVI, a VGA, and a HDMI connection, which means it's got onboard graphics already. Whereas other types of motherboard, this one has got no onboard graphics and there is no way to get video signal. Uh, so you would have to use a dedicated graphics card. And this is also important because the symptoms for both and the troubleshoot will be different, which we're going to cover today. So this system that I've got here is an older gaming system. It's got an FX6300, a HD 7950 from AMD, power supply 600 watt and a 8 gigabyte DDR3 RAM. This system works and I've disconnected the operating system and the main storage drive because we're only going to test for the post. So let me show you what happens when you turn on a computer which is supposed to work and uh, LED lights, the fans are spinning and as long as your monitor and cable everything is fine, you hear beep and then there is display, right? And it's going to look for um, the obvious operating system, but in this case I've disconnected it, but I don't care because I'm only testing for post Right, so that's good news I'm gonna off this do remember your best friend is gonna be that speaker cable For post and I've talked about it in a previous video go check that out link above or in the description below So we're looking for the post without that speaker cable It's gonna be a lot harder to know that your system has posted and you may not be looking at troubleshooting the video card but other things instead but we've covered all of that so do go watch those videos the video card is the last thing in our order that we're going of those components which is responsible to post correctly one of the most common problems that in my opinion people make with computer systems like this one is they plug the cable into the wrong port instead of into the graphics card port, they plug it onto the onboard one. And obviously, we turn it on, you should hear the beep, but there's no display. And I'm gonna show you right now. So lights on, fans is on, beep, but no display on the monitor. And that's because obviously, the priority for the graphics is supposed to come from the graphics card, but we've plugged it into the wrong port, all right? Now, if you just simply swap it back there, 
you still will not get display because it did not initialize. So you're going to have to reset for the display to come on. Okay, so you're going to press reset button. If you haven't got one, just switch off and plug it back in there and it should work fine. All right, so that's test number one. Let's off this. Now I'm going to show you what happens if you've plugged that in correctly from the back, but for some reason you forgot to plug in the uh, power cable. So the graphics card is not being powered anymore and the cable is plugged at the back. Now let's turn it on to see what happens. We've got lights on, the fan, we've got the beep, so we know it should have posted, but there is no signal still coming on the display and you'll be waiting, all no signal will come. Now why did it post this time? And do remember this because it's going to be different on the other motherboard which hasn't got onboard graphics. Now it's posted because there is graphics which it detected, it's just it's not initializing it to send the signal to the display monitor. Okay, and again, if you just take this and plug it into the onboard graphics port, the video signal, you're still not going to get any signal. Why? Because it did not initialize. Now do remember, we've disconnected the power, so the graphics card is not being powered, it's not working, but we know it posted. So, what happens if we press reset this time? Beep. And we got display. So what is done, it's bypassed the graphics card on the PCI Express port, sorry, slot, and we're using the onboard graphics. Okay, however, do remember this because when we're going to do this test on the other motherboard, it's going to be different, completely different because this one has onboard graphics. Now at this stage, do remember that you need to be sure that all your components are working and the display is not to do due to a bad monitor or bad cables. Now we are going to cover these two things in the next two videos, but I know that the monitor and the cable for the video is working. Okay. However, sometimes if you do hear the beep and you know um, there's your graphics card, the final thing is fine on the computer, it will be something to do with the monitor or the cable. Do bear that in mind. But we can't cover everything in one video. It's going to get too convoluted. All right. Now we're done with this. What we're going to do is we're going to unplug that. And we're not going to use this anymore for now. Okay. And we're going to take this down because now we're going to switch to my test setup and we're going to keep the power cable the video cable and the monitor the same so there's less variables and i'm going to plug in if i can reach it i'm going to use the same plugs to connect everything back so the video cable oops we're going to use the dvi cable and we're going to use this graphics card which is the GTS 450 and we're going to connect there so I'm keeping this in one shot so you see we are not changing anything and uh, what am I missing oh yeah I'm missing the graphics port PCI 6 pin right so now we've got this connected I'm going to turn it on and we're going to turn it on and fan spinning right this one will take a bit long. We heard the beep, and hopefully we should have some display. There you go, we've got display. Ignore the uh, error messages. Again, this is to do with the battery on this motherboard. Right, so that's what a normal boot up should sound like and should look like. Now, let's do the next test, okay? Again, still, this hasn't got a hard disk for booting into an OS, so that's why we've got this message right now. Right, let's off this. Now, we are going to disconnect the power supply cable from the graphics card, so it's not now being powered. Remember, before when we did the other one, we did hear a beep code and we did have to swap the cable, it did work. What happens with this one? Turn it on again. First thing, loud found noise, very loud. Okay. And this time, we could be here for a long time, but I can tell you, no beep will be sounded 
because it will not post. And what's the reason? It did not detect the graphics on the system, so it cannot post, which is different to what we did before. I'm going to off that. And I hope you understand the difference between the two. Now, again, it's uh, revving very loud because there is some power being delivered to the graphics card from the motherboard, but it's not the right power because you actually need a separate power, which should be coming from the power supply. Okay? Right, so that's what a system should look like if it's not being connected power-wise. Now, lucky for you guys, I have... I'm going to dis you know, uh, take this off. I have with me today an older graphics card. This is a cheap, you know, low powered. I don't even know what it is. It's got only one connector at the back, which is the DVI-D. But this graphics card is actually dead. And we're going to plug it in to this system to see what happens. Now, this does not require any external power. Okay. But I know it's dead. And luckily, we know that this whole system works. So we're going to turn this on now and see what happens. Right, we've got the fan spinning on the CPU cooler and on the power supply and no loud fan noise because this graphics card doesn't have any fans. But again, because this is a dead graphics card, it will not beep, it will not post. You will hear nothing, you'll be here for ages. I hope they get the idea. I'm gonna off this. So if unlike me, you haven't got other things to play about with and test, Unfortunately, it's going to be difficult for you to know if it's the graphics card. Obviously, how would we know at this stage? If you suspect it's the graphics card, you should take it off, get a known working graphics card, plug it in and turn it on, make sure it's working. And if it does turn on, there is display, there is beep, then you know your graphics card is dead. However, don't stop there. What you should do is you should take this graphics card, which is dead, or which you think is dead, and plug it to that system that you took the graphics card from, just to make sure. And you could also do a last test, which means swap back again and just test, just to make sure something did not die in the meantime. All right, good stuff. All right, I'm gonna give you some last thoughts. Just give me a second. A couple of things I need to mention. Now, this is not a repair tutorial, and I did mention why that I'm not advising for repair at this stage for these types of troubleshooting. Okay, replacement is more viable because you're gonna be hard pressed to find someone to repair a graphics card for you. Depending on the problem, especially if it's to do with some chip on the graphics card, like the main graphics chip, then it's gonna be difficult to get that repaired. Now, if it's a fan issue or maybe even the port issue, you might be able to get someone to, you know, unsolder that for you, but don't hold your breath. Second thing I need to mention is there is a way to repair repair that graphics card it's called the oven method and you can google it plenty of tutorials on youtube essentially they're going to take a dead graphics card you know stick it in the oven mess with the temperature a bit and hope for the best i'm kidding you not we literally going to cook the graphics card now linus tech tips i think they've done a couple of videos on that if you want to check them out i'm not going to give you a link because it's easily found on the internet i don't recommend this method it's not really a professional method so I can't recommend it in good faith but that's up to you if you feel like you've got nothing to lose um, okay right and the last thing I need to tell you is uh, give you an example my cousin called me up a couple of weeks ago he moved his computer from his uni to home and when he got home his graphics card would not work anymore and there was two problems one the fans would not spin and there was no display. So the first thing with the fans not spinning, you have to know that now for some graphics card, uh, you may not see any signs of spinning of the fans. That's because it did not reach that level for it to need to cool down. So just remember this, if you see a graphics card which is not spinning, doesn't mean it's not working, okay? And the second thing is, what I suggested to him is just to what we call a static discharge or a hard reset. And you know, I've done it in my previous videos. Unplug everything, press and hold the power button for a few seconds. 15 minimum, 30 is uh, better, 30 seconds. And it discharged all the static electricity. And that did actually work for him. It brought his display back on, no problem. What may have happened is in the transport, there may have been some buildup of static electricity. So that's the end of today's video. Um, this is the last component 
as far as the post is concerned. After this, we're going to be talking about the various cables which prevents the computer from turning on or does turn on but no display, including monitor issues in the next two videos. But anything up until now has been to do with the post check. Anything after is going to be to do with the hard drive mainly and the operating system to boot up onto Windows, Linux or Mac. So stay tuned for those coming up. So that's the end of today's video. Um, I do want to thank you for watching. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded this in the last two weeks. I've been a bit busy. There's been some changes in my structure, which is going to be coming up shortly. And uh, I will continue this series. I want to finish it. And I've got a lot of other series coming up. So hopefully, if you find this video helpful, please give it a like. If not, leave me a comment below or questions. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It does help me out. And hopefully I shall see you in the next one. Until next time, peace out.